Welcome my peace, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video to be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peace, my peoples. So let's talk about Love and Hip Hop New York season eight, episode 11. Let me tell you, it went down, but next episode is supposed to be it. So let's start off with Ruben coming in to Anais meet and greet and you know Rich is about to finesse her butt he's touching her butt and all this other stuff and you know he's kind of you know he's he's feeling her they feeling each other whatever she's all in her oil with her little blonde wig and her white dress on and she's just like she's it's all or nothing right now but guess who walks in none other than the husband himself the big king the big dog the big papa he done walked in and he was like um so where's Navarro do you work for Navarro to rich and he was like no nah, i don't work for navarro i'm navarro's friend he asked me to help him out you know i'm here to meet and greet or whatever and so anais was like okay and she's looking kind of nervous and you know ruben has known anais for 14 years so he knows when she's up to something when she when she's nervous or she feel like she got caught she got her hands in a cookie jar when they don't supposed to be in the cookie jar so he goes like why you look nervous you know what's going on and she was like oh i'm not nervous and she was like you know ruben this is rich rich this is my husband or whatever well they didn't even get that far and so rich was like you know i'm su uh, i'm surprised that you're here it's good that you are here and everything because you know in spite of you guys separate and then getting the voice and everything so I, it, it's good that you hear and he was like what Ruben was like what how do you know about that how do you know anything about that and he was like oh because I talked to her and he was like what do you Ruben was like what do you mean you talk to her it's like I've been talking to her I have conversations so then Ruben put two to two together and he was like are you sleeping with this dude I what's going on on Anais what are you doing like how are you gonna be out here embarrassing me on national TV knowing our kids our family everybody knows that you want to show and you out here with rich dollars a bum to him because basically rich is a bum when it comes to women like he you know how he use them and abuse them and leave them alone you know he gets all he can out of them and then he he's gone like he don't have no hard feelings he ain't in his feelings he ain't crying he ain't hurt he's on to the next one and you know he is because he got a phone number while he was there at her event so that should tell Anais that hey he ain't even feeling her like that when he is that bold to do that because he don't really think they have a relationship even though last episode he was talking about he had her back and he's gonna be there for her if she needs a a place to stay even though you can tell it wasn't legit because she had to force and pull his teeth for rich to even say i got your back i'll be there and when she was like what about my husband comes or what if my husband shows up and he wants to fight you he was like oh i got it i got it or whatever so rich knew what was going on with anais was still married still with the kids she might have said that she wanted to get a divorce and she's planning on getting divorced but she knew he knew it wasn't going to happen in a week he knew it wasn't going to happen in a day because no divorce goes that quick so anyways rich missed me with that bullshit and so then ruben was like Ruben was like, you so you know, Rich was like, I spoke to her multiple times. You spoke to her multiple times, and so then um, and Anais is like, you know, you know, uh, Ruben was like, have you you been you sleeping with this guy? Have you been sleeping with him? And Anais was like, yeah, I've been sleeping with him. Or what? No, she said I've been dating him, and then Ruben was just too through, and then uh, Rich, um, you know. When, you know, um, Ruben was asking her, like, you know, so you're sleeping with him? Like, what's going on? You're speaking to him and all this other stuff. Rich wants to intervene and jump in and say, um, and try to get into the conversation. And then that's when Ruben was like, yo, listen, I'm talking to her. When I'm done talking to her, then I'll speak to you because I don't really got nothing to say to you. <laughs> you know, basically, you know, Ruben, he's upset. He goes, when I'm done talking to her, I'll talk to you. And he was like, yo, do you know that she got kids? You know that she's married. You know she has a family. You know she has all this other stuff. And you're going to still sleep with her. And yes, Rich did know that. Rich knew she had two kids. Rich knew that she was married and she was living with her husband because she didn't have no other place to stay. They wasn't really separated if they're still living together. So Rich missed me with that bullshit. Anais mixed me with that bullshit as well because all of a sudden now you're acting like you're scared. Like you don't like, like you nervous and stuff or whatever. But you were so into Rich and flirting with Rich, having sex with him. 
parading him around town, letting everybody know, letting, you know, Ashley know, letting, you know, Navarro and everybody else know, let Jonathan know that you're sleeping with him and you all, all up in his face and all this other stuff, riding this car, kissing him and all that other bullshit. Like you should have been, you should have stood, you should have stood in your own. Like, yeah, I'm sleeping with him. I'm dating him. I want a divorce from you because he's going to be with me and blase in the third. But no, she didn't do that. She didn't step out on her own. She didn't keep it 100 like she was trying to keep it 100 with, with Rich talking about, you know, I want you, I need you. But when Reuben came, she realized, you know, it started clicking in her head like, okay, I don't know if Rich really got my back because Rich ain't jumping in like that. And she just started to think like, she started to realize that she made right in that moment when Reuben's walked up she thought it was all fun and games all this time you know Ruben doesn't know what's going on she's gonna keep you know rich on the side or whatever keep doing their thing and then whatever happens happens but she didn't know that she was gonna get caught red-handed with a hand in the cookie bar in the cookie jar if it's actually real and and it's true so anyways then Ruben was like Ruben was like you know um don't talk to me or whatever. He was he was really upset and he was like, you know, we can go outside, we could do whatever. And then Rich was like, is that what you want to do? You want to do that? <laughs> I was just like, yo, Ruben. <laughs> Ruben, Ruben was really upset. Ruben was really upset. Like he was like, yo, do you think that's the right thing to do? You know, Rich, you think it's the right thing to sleep with a woman that got that's married and have kids and have a family? You think that's the right, right thing to do? So, um. Ruben was like, so you want to go outside or whatever? Like, what you want to do? And Rich was like, I, we'll do whatever. So so Ruben tried to go over there to fight, you know, Rich or whatever. But security immediately grabbed him, immediately snatched him up and holding him back. And he's trying to get to Rich because he wants to fight Rich ASAP. And then Rich is just standing there looking. And then all of a sudden, Rich was like, okay, I don't got no attention on me. Let me do something. So then Rich tries to act like he's pretending like he's going to go after Ruben. Then security got him holding him up because Rich was not trying to fight Ruben because Rich don't want to fight over no woman that's not Richard Steele that's not Richard's style unless the woman is making him money like the only time like he was going to go ham on a man was when you know he was gonna fight when he first was on the first season and he was gonna fight you know that girl's manager or whatever that's the that's the only time because you know if you ain't making rich no dollars and <laughs> he ain't trying to fight over you because then rich look is looking at on Naïs as another mouth to feed and he ain't trying to feed nobody else but himself and his daughter so anyways so Rich was being held back or whatever and pretending like he's being held back or whatever so then Ruben goes outside you have you know Jonathan <gasps> making all these faces and shit like that like he knew what was going down <laughs> and he was like oh and then, so then Ruben was like it's over I don't want nothing to do with you it's done I I never forgive you for this never forgive you and, and Anna used to trying to say I'm sorry so he took off his ring and then he threw it at her and he walked out and so then that's when Jonathan runs over to the table it's like see you let your husband leave for this Rich was over there getting another number he was getting somebody else's number he was getting somebody else's number Rich was like no I didn't get nobody else's number this and that and then Jonathan was like see if you wanted to leave Ruben leave Ruben for yourself not for this guy because he ain't no good and he got another girl's number so then that's when you know Anais is she already realized she's in the moment she's in a moment until she realized that she's caught she messed up and she knows she had a good at home and now she knows Rich ain't gonna support her it was just sex <laughs> so anyways and if it was just sex, Anaïs should have kept it on a DL. She shouldn't have been around Rich like that or to be caught out there like that. But she really wasn't going to leave her husband. You know what I mean? Because she don't want to, she's comfortable where she's at, but she needed some, she needed a little bit on the side. And, but she wanted to parade her little bit on the side in front of the world. So she gets caught out there. So anyway, she goes outside to talk to Ruben. Ruben was like, it's done. It's over. I don't want nothing to do with you. Don't talk to me. There's no forgiving. I'm getting a divorce. It's over. He's like, peace. He's like, he's done. He's done with her for now. We'll see what happens. And she's all crying. Jonathan's holding her. Why are you crying? Like, why are you crying on Naïs? Be 100 like you was all the other episodes. Like, I'm with Rich and I don't love my husband no more. He don't do this for me. He's an old man. Like, whatever. So now you all crying. Why are you all in your feelings? Like, 
because you realize you can't go back to rich. You realize that rich can't take care of you. You realize that, you know, your husband of 14 years has invested in your career and tried to help you and support you. And you have a nice car. You have a nice house. You live in comfortable. You don't have to work. You go to these club gigs. You do, you take pictures and do all this other stuff. And you know you're not going to be doing that with rich because rich don't feel you like that. And you knew it when you had the pull teeth life episode for rich to say he had your back and you knew deep inside he didn't really have your back i don't even know why you even went there with that so i was just like crazy so then we get to you know jaquay jaquay meets up with you know um bianca bianca looked beautiful she looks stunning she looks like oh she just looks gorgeous and she's with Jaquay they're talking whatever he lets her know that he ain't with Sophia the body no more and Bianca was like I could have told you that but you know whatever but I got my girl Cayenne coming through whatever and Jaquay was like I know her the word is on the street that Jaquay and Cayenne already been dating before the show started or whatever or doing the show so anyways you know um Cayenne she comes through and she starts to piss bit some rap she's she, she reminds me of like you know rap battles um qu queen of the ring or whatever so anyway she's spitting jacquay's liking it they shake hands or whatever he's trying not to let her go and he's feeling her she's feeling him you could tell the chemistry is definitely there they definitely have more chemistry than you know jacquay had with sophia the body so anyways then we move on to safari safari goes to the batting cage snoop is there and you know jacquay is there and um safari walks up in his red mink coat looking all good or whatever and so they're batting and they realize that <laughs> so snoop is like yo safari ain't never played a sports in his life but safari cannot bat he can't even hold the bat he can't swing or nothing so they're making fun of him or whatever and so you know then snoop was talking about the sneaker party and then carl shows up and then carl was like you know i had this gig going on so then carl was like yo listen you know i'm having you know a match going on like trying to get back out there I need to get an Instagram page. I get, really can't get one. And so he, and so every Jaquay and you know Safari was like, so what's going on? I was like, oh, that's little most husband. And it was like, oh, word. And it was like, you know, some things went down, so he can't really have an Instagram page. So he's gonna sneak and have one to let his fans know whatever Snoop knows about it. But she ain't trying to get into nobody's personal business. That's just not her steez unless she has to. But um, so anyway, she was just like, yeah, man, whatever. And so they they they're gonna meet him up. They're going to go to his, you know, his boxing fight thing or whatever. So that that's cool. And um, Carl, you know, just, why can't you just tell Little Mo you're going to get an Instagram page for this event to promote your stuff and have her control, let, let her have the password, let her have everything, let her be the promotion for that. She knows how to do that. She's been in the game for years. So you could have just did that instead of trying to be sneaky. But anyways, I think Little Mo, her acting skills, how she's pretending like she's upset with Carl and being all upset she needs to be on a tv show that is scripted like she needs to be on like empire she needs to be on like any of these new black tv shows because i think she really is a good actress i mean like for real for real like <laughs> she's she's good her she can change her emotions up real quick and fast and cry at the drop of a dime you, you little mo needs to be acting like not acting on love and hip-hop but acting on a real set a real tv show that's on like you know one of these networks like you know one of these cable stations or whatever so anyways we move on from that <laughs> we move on from that so carl and uh, so no carl's just trying to say like you know basically he's gonna do some snake shit and get his own instagram page and he was like oh it's, it's only gonna be for just promotion it's not gonna be anything personal but why are you telling everybody else but not telling your wife so that just that just says grimy and you don't respect her like you're supposed to but i know this is a storyline so we're just gonna act like it's real and so then we get um Safari, he meets up with Dream, and it goes terribly wrong. Dream is at the studio. She comes out, and she was like, yo, why are you working with the ops? Why are you doing this? You know, you know, I had to hear from my girl Bree that you're on a stage. You're performing with Mariah Lynn. What kind of shit is that? I thought we made it clear. I thought we had a deal that you wasn't going to be doing this or that with the ops. And on top of that, you didn't even let me know. And wasn't you in your feelings uh, when Dream um, boyfriend crush or boyfriend of the day, boy, boyfriend whatever, it was Nan or whatever you was upset you was all in your feelings and all that other good stuff so why you so why are you over here chilling with mariah 
and talking to her and like on stage with her without my permission without telling me and safari was like yo hold up wait a minute you don't you don't control me you don't tell me what to do i'll do whatever and she was like no listen that's what i heard and he was like yo that's immature if you're going by what people say and what what you heard like and she was like whatever whatever and basically she acting like at first you remember she was all in love with safari all sweet want to meet his mama and all this other stuff she's cussing him out like he ain't nothing but a two dollar hoe and so then he was like whatever then you ain't gonna tell me what to do you ain't gonna tell me what to do and she was like get out get out she was like when then safari want to leave she said so since you don't want to get out i'll leave myself and then he was like i'll get on this mic and spit some real bars you know what i'm gonna spit some bars i'm gonna do something for mariah so i hope safari and mariah hook up and he makes some fire for her so anyways but dream doll was just going she was just way too much and safari was like you ain't gonna tell me what to do you ain't gonna control me so right now safari and chucky doll is over as no it's a no-go i was like damn like she was reading him like he was her child i was like yo so safari was like yo yeah you're ignorant you're immature safari was just looking at her like yo this this is a girl i was attracted to look at the way she was acting and that moment she truly was ugly to him because of her attitude and that moment and so um we get we get um navarro navarro rich and um peter guns i'm so glad to see peter guns come through so they're talking whatever so rich dollar is telling the story of what happened navarro is like oh my god navarro was just like oh my oh my god everything is messing up because now he's realizing that you know ruben pays him you know he, he's getting his money from ruben ruben is putting money in his pocket and you know and he's supposed to be managing her but he can't manage her sex life but damn he can at least tell the man that he's putting money in her pocket that hey something's going on or he could pull rich to the side or he can pull you know anais to the side even though he said he didn't want to get involved in her personal life and what she does or whatever it seemed like he should have especially if he was getting paid to manage her and it was an investment and this guy Ruben was investing in his wife through you know Navarro and he should have just he should have been like yo that can't happen because now what is he gonna do with Anais she better start bringing that money in Rich ain't gonna pay nothing Rich ain't gonna do a goddamn thing and so, you know, uh, Rich is just like, yo, Navarro, you set me up for that meet and greet because her husband showed up. I was about to grab her ass. And, you know, her husband was all acting like that. You know, they still in love. They still together. Like when she's telling me that she's about to get a divorce and all this other stuff, like they ain't really together. So I said to him, like, oh, I'm surprised you're here because and, and do all that. You guys are getting a divorce and separate. And Navarro was just sitting there. You could just see the life and the breath just escape Navarro. Navarro was like, damn damn son why you do that he was like well, you said that he was like you said that navarro was just like yo and the peter gun was like yo why are you surprised that's what we do all the time we the creep squad the creep squad that's what we do like you know you're just surprised because it's a woman that did it to you and he was like well you know i ain't trying to do it and, and you know peter was like how do you expect him to act he just seen his wife with another man that she's sleeping with and, she, and that's his wife like of course he's gonna be upset peter guns is saying to, to, in his head that if that was me rich you would have been laid out on the floor and you already know Rich don't like none of his women to be talking or dating another man. And so, you know, Rich is all like, you know what? I'm done with her. It's over. She lied to me. I thought they were divorced. You know, Rich is full of shit. He know goddamn well that they can't get a divorce in a week, two days, or a day. And if that was the case, she would be staying at his house, sleeping at his house. And, you know, he could come to her house because they're, they're really separated where he can come pick her up. Or she's staying in a different location. Or he would have seen some divorce papers because Rich knows this world. Rich knew that Rich was just trying to get the punani as long as he could. And once the heat was going to get hot, Rich was going to to escape he was going to bounce because he ain't frying no chicken because he is a he got diabetes so he ain't eating no fried food with no salt so he got his ass out the kitchen he's at the snack bar he's at the juice bar right now so i'm just like yo that shit is so messed up and yeah but um so then we get you know um cayenne and so cayenne and 
Jacques, they moving fast. They're going to ask this date where they fly in the air. It's like every reality TV show on VH1 has done this. And even Bravo did it like, you know, two episodes ago where I forgot the name of the thing where they get in the machine and it, and they float up and they gravitate in the air or whatever. So anyways, he's with Cayenne on a date and then he finds out that, you know, she's single, ready to mingle. And she has a 10 month year old son and, you know, Jacques, and she asks Jacques about, you know, Sophia the body. He was like, it's done. It's it's a no-go it's over baby and so they're talking and you know Jack Quay was like yo I really want to get to know you I want to I, I you know you're a queen so it ain't not like when a man call you a queen because you know how he's feeling when he call you that queen mm, that tell you he's been raised right he's been raised right when he calls you a queen not all of them but most of the time so then she is like, you know, I want to take it slow. I don't want to move too fast because I've been hurt. I've been through this. I've been through that or whatever. And Jacquois was like, yo, you don't know what's in store for you. If you if you, if you uh, put your blinders on or you block it because your future, you don't let your past, you know, determine your future. Just move with me. And he grabs he, he grabs her close to him and she puts his her hand around behind his neck and she's talking to him like yo I don't want to be hurt I want I don't want to get hurt I want to take it slow I don't want to rush I want to do it right and he was like yes I would do it right it's so nice to see like two young people in love not in love but they got the butterflies in their stomach they really want to get to know each other they really want something to work out they really want to make it happen but I don't know because she got a 10 month year old son so that means the baby father's right around the corner and he's probably going to come in with drama so I don't know the rule of thumb is to wait till the kids like five or six or seven or eight but anyways some people it could really be over so anyways they're going to uh, so Jacque invites her to an event, to Carl's event. So she's going to go with Carl. She's going to go with Jacque to Carl's event, his boxing match or whatever. And um, it is what it is. And so then we get Navarro and Ruben. And they're talking. And Navarro was like, so, yo, you letting your boy sleep with my wife? Like, you letting this go on out? And I pay you. I've been paying you for a career. I invested in her. I've given you money. And you have your man. Your man is out there sleeping with her. Like, yo. Ruben's like, yo, what kind of shit is that? Like, yo, where they do that at? Like, you know, I'm the one that pays you. I'm the one to put money in your pocket. And you can't even tell me what's going on, what's real. And then on top of that, it's your man that's doing it. He's like, he he's like, yo, it's your man that's doing it too as well. Just like. And so Navarro was, so, you know, Ruben was like, it's over, it's done. Like, I'm not going to pay no more money. I'm not going to do anything. It's over. We're going to get a divorce. It's done. And so Navarro was like, yo, I shouldn't be here. Now, Anais needs to be here. Anais walks in and she wants to say I'm sorry. I was like, I don't want to hear you sorry. Because, bitch, you wasn't sorry when you was running around town sleeping with, you know, Rich and talking about you're going to divorce me. And so, you know, Ruben's going by there too. Like, Rich is saying that, oh, you're going to divorce him. These guys are separated. So you're telling this man that you separate, you're going to divorce me but yeah you're coming home to me at night but yeah I'm paying your bills yeah I'm taking care of you yeah I'm, I'm investing in your career and I put your career together and that's why Anna is like oh no just because you invest in me doesn't mean that you in control of my talent or what I do or how I sing and we know Anna is can sing she got the chop she got the pipes she can sing like I can co-sign that she can sing but she knows that she's really done messed up right now and she's like, yo, I wish she knows that she done messed up at this time and point because she knows that look at Jonathan like, oh, my God, my girl is getting played. And so then moving on from that. And so it's just like Ruben was like, it's done. I'm not I'm not paying for your career no more. I'm not paying for nothing. He was like, I want you out of my house. I want you gone. And that's it. That's that. He's like, pack all your shit and leave. I don't think he can kick her out like that if they're married unless everything is in his name and nothing's in her name. And she she doesn't have a claim to state there. But usually when you have stuff there and your property there, most likely you can you know they can't kick you out but she knows that she's uh, messed up and she don't want to be around that environment because that must be a hectic environment right now and so then she moves on to go over there to rich dallas house and guess what rich lets her and rich is not happy to see her yet but first of all we're gonna get to juju and safari they go out on this little date but it's not a date it's friends and they're talking but safari's kind of feeling juju and then he looks over and he sees sophia the body dj and that's the place that him and sophia the body used to go so he wants to go talk to sophia the body he excuses himself from juju and let him let her know that he used to date her and she was the first girl that he dated after Nicki minaj blah 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 and she's djing so 
you know, they end up having a conversation and she talks about, you know, that she's single, she lost Jacquay. And, you know, Safari knows the whole deal. So Safari's like, yeah, I know what happened. I know what went down. Blah, and done. She was like, but I really loved him. I really, I really, really loved him and all this other stuff. I really wanted to be with him and all this bullshit or whatever. And so, you know, Safari was like, oh, you're such a sweet girl. You know what? Come to this boxing event. You know, um, Jacquay should be there through a, a mutual friend or whatever. She was like, okay, I want to come there. And he was like, okay, cool. And, you know, they done set her up to get beat up because <laughs> that's what's going to happen next episode or get almost attacked. And so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> Then he also t- he also tells Sophia the body that he ain't with you know Dream Doll and he apologized to you know Sophia the body how Dream Doll came at her and tried to fight her and all this other good stuff. So we'll see what happens. So then we move on to Rich and Anais goes there and Anais is like I need a place to stay. I got kicked out. Rich was like Oh, he kicked you out. <laughs> I thought you got. I thought you guys was over. I thought you guys didn't have a relationship. I <laughs> I thought everything was a no go or whatever. So. Um, it seems like, um, Rich is just playing this up. Rich is, cause Rich is done. He already got what he wanted. He already used her body as much as he could. He you know, showed her around town. She was a part of a storyline, if it's actually true. And he was like, I'm done. And, and he, and Rich was just like bitching at her. Like, yo, you lied to me. You didn't tell me the truth. You didn't tell me that you guys were still together. You made it seem like you guys were out the door. You guys had a divorce going on. You told me you haven't been happy in five years and all this other stuff. And then your husband showed up talking and looking surprised. Like, you know, like you guys are still together together he still had on his ring and if it was really over he it was over when he threw his ring so there was still some hope going on in your relationship you were just telling me one thing but you didn't tell your husband that you actually wanted a divorce and that is that exactly true she mentioned that they talked about divorce but she didn't say I absolutely wanted to divorce you Ruben she just said to Ruben if you don't change I need affection I need this I need that you know I'm not a housewife you know I'm not gonna be smelling like onions all day but she never said that she actually wanted a divorce and she wanted to leave because he asked do you want a divorce do you want to leave but he did say to her if you leave right now we're gonna get a divorce but I guess they have that conversation all the time that arguing but she didn't make it clear to Ruben that they were actually over and she was actually stepping out on him but she didn't make it clear because if she was clear she would have moved into a little small apartment a little joint she would have been like Donna from Black Ink and just rent a room somewhere because it seems like Ruben is the one to take care of the kids and so then she was like, what do you think was going to happen? Like, regardless if it's over or not, you know, with me and him, if he sees the guy that I'm sleeping with and he still loves me, he's going to be upset. And she totally got the point. But she totally didn't tell him that they was actually going to get factual, credible divorce and all this other stuff. She didn't do none of that. They just throw that. They just threaten each other with divorce. And that's it. And um, she was like, he was going to get upset. He was going to get mad. Rich was like, nah, you played me or whatever. She didn't play you. You played yourself. No, Rich, you played her for that pool nanny. You got it. Because if she would have divorced her husband, if they was in the process of getting divorced and she needed a place to stay, she was not going to be able to stay at your house anyway because she was only good for you know what and you got it and now you're good. And Rich is trying to act like, I really like Anais. Yeah, right. You don't like nobody but yourself, Rich. But, um, but she gave him a great way out the door because he's like oh so you lied to me so I don't have to be real with you I don't have to have your back I don't have to be there for you because you lied to me you wasn't real you wasn't getting divorced right away it wasn't you made it seem like you was going to be divorced yesterday so and she was like he was going to be mad he was going to be upset regardless so anyways that situation is over the relationship is over she walks out but Rich is probably if Rich likes the punan he's probably going to hit it back and forth again or whatever and then I and East is going to be trying to run to get Ruben back so anyways moving on from that <sighs> and I East got played now she's all crying and she's crying wolf and victim but um she messed up a good thing sometimes you think the grass is greener on the other side rich ain't got no grass on the other side he got none for cement baby so anyways we get to the boxing mat everybody is showing up you know Remy Ma shows up she's with Papoose she's talking to Little Ma she was like oh you know what I saw it on Instagram that you know Carl was gonna be like fighting whatever me and my husband's like we're gonna come down and support you whatever support Carl she was like what do you mean on Instagram you don't got no IG page and so Little Ma's going through her phone she realized oh my god he doesn't have one and then you know Remy Ma was like yo don't try to play me I ain't stupid I ain't crazy Remy Ma pulls it up and she was like and so then 
and you know little mo is freaking out i'm telling you she should be active she's freaking out she's like oh my god i can't believe he got an instagram page blah 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 like he lied to me this is that and so then you know remy ma is trying to calm her down or whatever so papoose and snoop they're looking over they see like there's a heated conversation they see something's going on over there with you know remy ma and um and um um, little Mo, so it's just like whatever. They was like, all oh, the dramas come, and Pat Foose was like, I'm out of here. And so Snoop is like, damn, I'm gonna have to play referee in this bitch. And so um, Remy Ma was like, yo, promise that you're not gonna act up, but you know, um, little Mo's chasing Carl down, trying to yell at him, asking why he got an Instagram page and he's not trying to talk to her. He's running, he's dodging her, he's running like he's in a ring and shit. And so he bounces running around the place where me my bounce or whatever and so little mo's chasing after him so little mo ends up going into the ring she sees carl carl's moving he's dipping out <laughs> and so as he's dipping out um you know little mo starts to talk to you know snoop about it she was like yo i'm talking to you like i should be talking to my husband and little and, and snoop was like yo hey this ain't the time or the place man come on that's press here there's people here <laughs> And little Mo is going out like I'm telling you, like she's <laughs> she looks deranged, heartbroken. <laughs> but it's all an act in my opinion. So she's yelling or whatever. And and Snoop is just like, yo, come on, man. And so she was like, chill out. So then little Mo gets out the ring and she was looking at Carl's fan. It was only like five of them. And she was it was only like five of them. And so then she goes, Um, what y'all looking at? Why y'all looking at me for? You never seen nobody upset or mad before. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets in the truck and she's sitting there and then that's when you know snoop comes out and snoop is you know trying to comfort her and talk to her about the situation and so um as she's trying to do that uh, I, get, I think i got something in my eye and so as she's trying to do that um, little Mo is going out like I'm going somewhere. Take me to Harlem. I'm taking to my cousin's house. Don't tell, don't tell Carl I'm going to my cousin's house. Snoop. Snoop is like I ain't got nothing to do with that. I was just like laugh. She's like take me somewhere, and so I, that shit was just too funny. And so then we move on from that, and we get you know Sophia the body. She shows up, and when she shows up, she is to, she talks to Snoop, and Snoop is just like the counselor of the night. She was like oh I heard about you, and cause you know um. She shows up with Safari and she was like, I heard about you. I heard you was bad business and you was doing this and you was with and you was with um your boy, um, what's his name? JR, whatever, and you took a dog from him. You did this, you did that, whatever. And she was like, No, I really like him, blah, 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 this and that. And so Snoop was like, Okay, so if you wanna work it out, I hope you guys do work it out. Hope everything works out. I hope everything goes the way that you want it to go. Blah blah in the third. You know, good luck to you. Don't hurt my man because he's a good dude. And she was like, I know. And then they look over. Jai Quay comes through with Kai Ann. And it is the wrap. And we won't see till next episode how it goes down. Peace I'm out, one love. To all my peeps and my peoples.